Assalamu alaikum and very fresh morning to all my dear students. Welcome to class 7. Students, I miss Asma is going to teach you mathematics. Students, today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 1 in teachers. Students, we have already learned about in teachers in the previous class. Today, we are going to review the concepts which we have learned earlier. So, let us revise. Natural numbers. Counting numbers are called natural numbers. Thus, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. are all natural numbers. Whole numbers. All natural numbers together with zero are called whole numbers. Thus, zero, one, two, three, four, etc. are all whole numbers. Students, we know that the result of subtraction of smaller whole number from the greater whole number is a natural number. For example, 4 minus 1 equals to 3. Similarly, the result of subtraction of a whole number from itself is 0, which is also a whole number. For example, 7 minus 7 equals to 0. Students, what will be the reason of subtraction of greater whole number from the smaller? Here, we need another number system to represent this kind of Result that is integers. Let us learn about integers in details. Students, we know that 8 minus 3 equals to 5. Now, let us subtract 8 from 3. Students, subtracting 8 from 3, we get minus 5. Here, minus 5 is neither a natural number nor a whole number. Minus 5 is in fact negative of natural numbers. Thus, we can say that when we subtract a greater whole number from a smaller whole number, the result is a number with negative or minus sign. Such numbers are called negative numbers. Also, we can say that negative numbers are the opposite of positive numbers. Just in English language, the opposite of hot is cold and the opposite of day is night. Similarly, in the number system, the opposite of plus 7 is minus 7 and the opposite of 100 is minus 100. Students, the number with positive sign or no sign at all are known as positive integers. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And the numbers with negative sign are known as negative numbers. For example, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. Thus, we can say that positive number 0 and the negative number together Make a new collection of natural numbers 
fall in ditches. In other words, we can say that collection of natural numbers, negative of natural numbers and zero together form the collection of integers. Does integer include the number minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Positive integers. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. are called positive integers. Negative integers. The numbers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc. are called negative integers. The set of integers is denoted using the symbol Z or I. Few facts to remember about integers. They are fact number one. A set of numbers minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, etc. is called integers and is denoted by I or J. One, two, three, four, and so on are called positive integers. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on are called negative integers. Zero is an integer, but it is neither positive nor negative. All natural numbers are positive integers. The smallest positive integer is 1. While writing positive integer plus sign is omitted. Thus, positive integers are generally written without plus sign. For example, Write 3 instead of plus 3. Minus 1 is the largest negative integer and there does not exist any smaller negative integer. Students, now let us solve these sums. Question number one, find the sum of. Students, we know that when the word sum is given to us, then we have to always add. So, in this question, we have to add the integers. Students, we know the rules of addition of integers. So, before solving this question, let us revise the rules or properties of addition of integers. Rule number one, if we want to add two integers and the integers have same sign, that is, if both the integers are positive, or both the integers are negative, then we have to add the integers as a whole number by ignoring the sign and answer we get with the same sign. That is, if two integers are positive, then we get the answer in positive. And if two integers are negative, then we get the answer in negative.
And rule number two, if we want to add two integers and the integers have different sign or opposite sign, that is one integer is positive and one integer is negative, then we have to subtract as a whole number from bigger number to smaller number by ignoring the sign and answer we get with the greater absolute value. Students, we know that absolute value means to remove any negative sign of a number and make the number positive. For example, absolute value of minus 21 is 21. So now, let us solve the sums, keeping in mind the rules of addition of integers. Sum A, 137 and minus 354 equals to 137 plus minus 354. Students, we know that 137 is a positive integer, whereas minus 354 is a negative integer. Thus, as one integer is positive and one integer is negative, so we have to subtract the integer as a whole number from bigger to smaller by ignoring this sign. Thus, subtracting a smaller integer 137 from a bigger integer 354 as a whole number, we get 217. And placing minus sign before 217, we get minus 217. Students, we get the answer in negative as the absolute value of negative integer minus 354 is greater then the absolute value of positive integer 137. Thus, we can say that 137 plus minus 354 is equal to minus 217. Now, sum B. Minus 52 and 52 equals to minus 52 plus 52. Students, now let us subtract the integer and follow rule number 2. As the integer have different sign. That is, one integer is negative and one integer is positive. Thus, subtracting 52 from 52 as a whole number, we get 0. Thus, minus 52 plus 52 is equal to 0. Students, you have to remember that addition of two positive integers always gives a positive sum. Addition of 
to negative integers always gives a negative sum and addition of a positive integer and a negative integer give either a positive or a negative sum depending on the value of the given number students in the next video we will solve exercise 1.1 thank you and have a good day